Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Chinese comedy drama film called How to Train Our Dragon. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Jackson is a six-year-old kid who is in love with his classmate. One day, he presents her with a marriage certificate, asking her to sign it. When the girl refuses, he offers her two movie tickets in return for her being his wife. She signs the papers, but uses the tickets to go on a date with another boy. Nothing like getting cocked when you're six. Jackson has five elder sisters who are overprotective of him. Seeing him heartbroken, they vow to protect him from the female gender for the rest of their lives. The scene shifts 15 years into the future. Jackson has grown up to become a handsome man, but with no privacy from his sisters. We are also introduced to all five of his sisters. The youngest, Lily, is in the same class as him. Then there is Violet, who is a member of the archery club. She often uses her skills to make Jackson do what she wants. The third sister is a computer hacker named Heaven. She breaks into the school's security system to keep an eye on her brother. The second eldest sister is Melody. She is the teacher of the high school Jackson goes to. Lastly, the eldest one is Sarah. She is the short-tempered one who everyone is scared of. Their parents divorced a long time ago, leaving the girls to take care of each other and their brother. One day at school, Jackson is tired of being followed around by his sisters. His friend makes him a camouflage suit to help him hide from them. Jackson ends up inside a girl's shower room locker in an attempt to camouflage, but a new girl named Meng finds him there and takes him to the academic affairs office. Jackson doesn't mind getting in trouble as long as his sisters do not know anything about it. After school, he nervously walks home, hoping that the second eldest sister, Melody, wasn't informed by the administration. When no one mentions the events of the day, he sighs with relief. But during dinner, Melody casually mentions him being found in the girl's locker room. Everyone looks at the eldest sister, Sarah, who turns red in anger. In the following scene, they are dragging Jackson across the floor. He is hung upside down and asked what he was doing in the girl's locker room. The girls have forbidden him to make eye contact with any girl in an attempt to keep him from getting his heart broken. Although the method is a little extreme, they think it is best for Jackson. However, he doesn't share their views. For the first time in his life, he retaliates and claims that he needs to date a girl someday. Sarah composes herself before challenging him to find a girlfriend who would match all of his sister's energies. The task is difficult, but Jackson is willing to take it on. The next morning, he makes a board advertising the vacancy for a girlfriend. His friend suggests he talk to the new girl, Mang, because she seems to be the type who wants to help everyone. She's also the one that caught him in the locker room, so she's sure to give him a shot. A montage shows us Meng helping people with the things they don't really need help with. Jackson agrees to make her his girlfriend, but has no experience in talking to girls. Hence, his friend acts as a wingman and goes to Meng to boast about Jackson. He calls Jackson a victim of his sister's torture and lists out all the things that the girls have done to him. After hearing the stories, Meng feels sympathetic. She walks toward Jackson to make friends with him, but changes her mind on looking at him closely. Suddenly, someone spreads the news about a wild bear attacking the students. Jackson plays the hero and pretends to save everyone, but it turns out the bear is a stuffed toy. Even the toy pushes him down the stairs, which lands him in a hospital. In the following scene, Jackson wakes up and finds himself on a hospital bed with Mang by his side. Although the plan didn't work as he wanted it to, he gets to spend more time with Mang. She tells him that she wants to be his friend out of pity. Then, two of Jackson's sisters arrive and start bullying him for not taking care of himself. This angers Meng and she orders them to stop. As the girls look at her in shock, she introduces herself as Jackson's girlfriend. A sick Jackson jerks up in surprise at the comment. At home, his sisters subtly ask him if he really has a girlfriend. He just smirks at the question and doesn't give them a definite reply. That is, until the eldest sister Sarah asks him and he has to tell her about Meng. The sisters again tie him upside down. Not believing he was able to get a girlfriend in just a day, Jackson insists that it was love at first sight, but the girls do not buy it. Still, they decide to judge Meng's eligibility to see if she is good enough for their brother. The following day, Violet, Melody, and Lily come to the school like it is their battleground. When Jackson and Meng are together, Violet tries to shoot her with an arrow, but Jackson stops it just in time. Meng notices this and calls the girls out for being cruel. They stand face to face, challenging each other. 
When Violet's method doesn't work, Lily takes the matter into her hands. She blackmails all the handsome guys in the school to approach Meng and ask her out on a date. She hopes to waver Meng's love for Jackson, but the plan fails miserably. Jackson helps Meng get away from the guys. As they run down the corridor, Violet spots them from the other side of the school and is about to shoot again, but this time, she accidentally hits an explosive that someone threw in the air just before. It causes an explosion mid-air that thankfully doesn't harm anyone. While everyone is confused about what caused the explosion, we see a man in a chemistry lab preparing more explosives. His motive is unclear, but he seems to have saved Meng from Violet. After the disaster, Jackson and Meng come to the terrace and enjoy popsicles together. Jackson finds out that Meng is pretending to be his girlfriend because she thinks his sisters are trying to steal his organs. He doesn't correct her, deciding to keep her in the dark for as long as he can. At home, Lily and Violet embarrassingly admit that they have failed. Heaven, who is good with computers, takes the responsibility to end Meng's reputation. She collects random CCTV footage of Meng from school and makes up a lie about her being a horrible person. Right before she uploads it on the internet, the power goes out. We see that the guy from the chemistry lab is outside their house. He is the one who cut the power to save Meng, but his true intentions are still unknown. Inside the house, the three sisters who failed kneel in front of the second oldest, Melody. It is now her responsibility to get rid of Meng. The following day, she challenges Meng to a sports meet. They go against each other in a staring competition and a goldfish collecting challenge, both of which Melody wins and shows Meng her place. Nothing proves you're a loser like goldfish collecting. They are about to compete for a final round when the eldest sister Sarah arrives. She introduces herself before challenging Meng for a match of the hammer throw. They have to throw a heavy metal ball as far away as possible. Using her exceptional skills, Sarah levitates the ball mid-air. When it is her turn to throw, she picks up another ball from the stand. We notice that a key comes out of the ball, revealing that it was spiked with an explosive that is about to go off any second. Meng notices this and snatches the ball away from Sarah before throwing it away. When it explodes, Sarah realizes that her life was saved. She starts to like Meng, which makes the other sisters respect her as well. Jackson runs around the field, thanking God for bringing Meng into his life. The scene is then followed by a montage of Jackson and Meng spending time together. They go on several dates, finally converting from a fake couple to a real one. As they get to know more about each other, they like each other even more. On one of their romantic dates, they go to an empty beach and spend the night together. In the morning, they playfully fight and hug each other. Throughout all this, the chemist guy is spying on them. The hug makes his blood boil in anger, but he doesn't do anything for the moment. The next day at school, the youngest sister Lily and Jackson are together. Lily opens a lunchbox that has been fitted with an explosive. Suddenly, a loud explosion shakes the entire school. Jackson is fine, but Lily has to be given CPR to be brought back to consciousness. Thankfully, it was only a chemical explosion and everyone is safe. Meng notices Jackson and his sisters huddled together in fear and realizes how much they love each other. She walks away from the scene and is followed by Jackson. They bump into each other, but Meng completely ignores him and the fact he could have died earlier. Jackson is confused and heartbroken, but he doesn't ask her what is wrong. In reality, Meng has figured out that the bad things happening to Jackson and his sisters only started when she started dating him. She thinks she brings a bad omen into their lives and decides to stay away. Jackson tries to talk to her repeatedly, but she continues ignoring him. One night, it rains heavily in the town. Jackson is at home when he sees the news about the flooded streets. He remembers that Meng was in the school waiting for the rain to stop when he last saw her. He immediately rushes to the school to find her struggling to stand up because of the rain. Wow, she's useless. Jackson hugs her, asking her to return to her normal self, but Meng reluctantly pushes him aside. It turns out that she is about to transfer schools again and wants him to stay away from her until then. A hurt Jackson stays under the rain all night. In the morning, he hears someone approaching him from behind. He mistakes the person for Meng and hugs them, but it is the man who has been creating the explosives until now. He tases Jackson and abducts him. That evening, there is a party at the school. Everyone is enjoying the live music and the show while Meng sulks in a corner. The sisters are tense because of Jackson's absence. They try their best to catch him and find that his phone is somewhere nearby. After a firework display, a strange masked man takes over the stage. He is the kidnapper who had tied Jackson to a rocket that he claims is about to fly away. 
On being asked the reason for the haterade, he reveals that he is invisible to everyone and has no friends. He fell in love with Meng at first sight and was always around her. He saved her from Jackson's sisters, but still, Meng loved no one other than Jackson. Hence, he is here to take revenge on Jackson, who stole the only happiness in his life. The sisters, Meng, and many of Jackson's friends try their best to hold the rocket down. They are successful, but it only stops for a few seconds. Before flying away, Jackson confesses how much he loves Meng. At last, he launches towards the sky and dies in the following explosion. In the following scene, we see Meng in front of a grave. She offers it flowers and asks for blessings. Suddenly, Jackson jumps into frame, revealing he was only injured in the last accident, but is perfectly well other than a broken hand. The grave is actually of Meng's mother, who died a long time ago. In the last scene, we see the sisters arrive and trouble Jackson, as usual. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.